What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how you can use the default built-in remote desktop app to remotely control your computer from your phone, whether you're in the same Wi-Fi network or a different one. Note that if you're gonna be using this outside of your local Wi-Fi network, you'll need to port forward, but it's not always the best idea to use default Windows remote desktop as without proper security, there may be some security vulnerabilities. This video will just go through a basic setting up of it, and it'll touch lightly on accessing it from outside your local network. To begin, first of all, we need to enable our Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer to be remote desktop into. Hit start and type in remote desktop, then open up the remote desktop settings. Note that this isn't the default remote desktop app. Inside of here, make sure to turn remote desktop on and click confirm here. Then we'll see our PC name so we know what to connect to. We can, of course, use the local IP address as well. Then expanding remote desktop, we also see required devices to use network level authentication to connect, which is recommended, but you'll need to turn this off if you'd like to connect to this PC from outside the local network. We also see right below it the remote desktop port. This is the port you'll need to be port forwarding if you'll be accessing your computer from further than one router away. Accessing it on the same local network, i.e. same router, you won't need to worry about the port at all. All you have to worry about is third-party antiviruses or firewalls that could be blocking the connection to your PC. I know for a fact that my antivirus blocks everything unknown to my PC, and I'd have to add port 3389 to the allow list to actually connect to my PC and remote desktop. So to step around that, I've temporarily turned off my firewall. Next up, let's go ahead and download the remote desktop app. Connecting to my phone over here, at the very top, we'll be searching for remote desktop, and we're looking for the one from Microsoft Corporation. This is the official one here with 1 million plus downloads. Simply click install and open it up. Then we'll accept the license agreement, and in the top right, we'll click the plus button so we can add our own computer. If you have all firewalls off, you should be able to see your PC here, and you can simply click on it. Then we'll be asked for a couple of things here. We can set a user account here. We'll need our username and password. To get your username, hold start and press R. Inside of here, type in CMD and hit enter. Then in here, type in who am I and hit enter once again, and we'll see our login username here. We don't need the PC's name in this case, we just need the username. So, techno in my case. Then for the password, you'll need to enter your actual Windows password here. Then click save. And now we've successfully added our user account. We can add a friendly name to it, choose whether we'd like admin mode or not. I'll have this on. And we can set some advanced settings like gateway and device audio redirection, such as microphone storage and clipboard. Finally, we have display where we can customize the resolution. Anyways, from here we can click connect and it'll be connected to our PC. If you get asked about a certificate, simply click never ask again and connect. And unfortunately, I confused the living heck out of my computer connecting to it while recording. Anyways, you can see my device over here, and you can see that I was remotely controlling my PC. There's OBS, there's the resolution I connected at, and a couple of files on my desktop. Awesome. So it works as you expect. In fact, right over here, you can see session was disconnected. You can simply connect to this whenever you'd like in the future. Let's say that you can't connect to your PC. More than likely, it's a firewall issue. If you're using the default Windows firewall, I'll go ahead and show you the steps now. If you're using a third-party antivirus firewall or other software, you'll need to Google a guide specific for that. Hit start and type in firewall, and we'll open the Windows Defender firewall. If you see a window like this, click advanced settings on the left-hand side. Inside of here, we'll head to inbound rules, and we'll right-click this and click new rule. In here, we'll choose port, next, we'll enter TCP, then specific local ports, 3389, and click Next. Then we'll choose Allow the Connection, Next, and we'll have all three of these ticked, Next, and finally we'll give it a name, in my case, Remote Desktop. I'll copy this as we're using this a lot later. Finish, then we'll click on Outbound Rules on the left-hand side, right-click it, New Rule, and in here we'll be doing the exact same thing. Port, Next, TCP, 3389, Next, allow the connection. Next, all three ticked. Next, and we'll paste in remote desktop here. Finish, and we can close out of the firewall now that we've allowed port 3389 through our local Windows firewall. That being said, the last thing that we'll touch on in this video, port forwarding. Essentially, if you're on the same router, i.e. the router is sitting right next to me, I have my PC and my laptop connected to it, it'll work fine and dandy just as long as this port is open on your computer. 
port forwarding comes in when, let's say, I'm connected from my PC to the router next to me, to a router in another room, and then to the internet. If I have my laptop on the second router, that's not this first router right next to me, in order to connect to my PC, I'll have to go through the first router to my PC. That's where port forwarding comes in. If you need a port forwarding guide, you'll find one linked in the description down below. Essentially, we'll be port forwarding port 3389 in my router's options or settings to this PC here. That way, whenever the router receives a request, they'll forward it to my computer. If you're connected to multiple routers before you reach the internet, you'll need to port forward it each hop along the way to the next device in the chain. So, the second router will port forward to my first router, the first router will port forward to my PC. Pretty simple. I would recommend not port forwarding on the last router that leads out to the internet, as then anyone with your IP address can connect to your computer, or at least try to, assuming they know the password and your username. That is a huge security vulnerability, and there are much better ways of securing your PC before you go ahead and do that. You can also fire up remote desktop on another computer and connect to your PC using the same settings we have here. Nothing special is required. Personally, I prefer third-party programs such as AnyDesk, as they accomplish pretty much all of this and more without the need for port forwarding, and they do have pretty good security at least most of the time. But then again, there are thousands of apps just like it. I used to use TeamViewer, but they ended up saying I'm using it commercially even though it's connecting to the computer right next to me, and they asked me to pay for it. Anyways, that's really about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!